God be with you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Good luck to you. Back to the going down. God be with you. What can I do for you? Aren't you Ringler? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. God be with you.
Yeah. again yesterday. Jesus Christ be praised. You're Stephen, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh, yeah? And why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Goodbye. Come on up and take a look. Let's fight. You gave those two a pretty good hiding, and I made a grosh or two in bets. You scallets fellows are good for my purse. Good luck then.
Yeah. The heel, mutt. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, Bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Where is that dog? Oh, he's run off. I hope he comes back.
to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Hey, all of you, you gather here! Combat. Raise the alarm! Raise the alarm! <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Yeah!
I'd be with you. I've taken care of the cunt. Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. I've had another report. Some folk were ambushed to the west of her time, on the hill across the river from the gallows. It would be worthwhile to check it out. Understood. Good luck then. Yeah. Good fella. That's my boy. 
Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. God be with you. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right.
So what are we to do? What now? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? I've got lots to do right now. As her ladyship... Hey, lad, <laughs> you just... Don't you want a little wager on the rat egg tourney? I have some, uh, trophies. Let's see. Good. Good. That's how to treat the bastards. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Oh. That is a nice bit of news. I've heard about another encampment. It seems it's somewhere near the stream that flows down from Neuhof. All right. I'll take a look around.
What happened to you? Those human devils killed my husband. Me and the children had to flee for our lives. To live in the woods, like wild beasts. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. Wouldn't you have a little bit of food for me, sir? Even a crust of stale bread? I haven't eaten for days. Food? Let me see. about this may God reward you for your kindness For what? Uh, no. Clear off. It's, Let it's me sleep.
Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. May the Lord watch over you. You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side? Isn't that God's own truth? I don't have time to explain everything to you. I need to... So you don't have the time? Come here, you fucker! All of you. Lord, what are you punishing me for? Hmm, fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Side. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. God be with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive. And now, the plague. P 
plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Skullitz was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw, something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? That's right, you're not from around here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smil from the Neuhof stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw to that. His old man isn't taking it well. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud, livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed, and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother. More and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigands got him. Poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Thanks. Take care now. Yeah. How? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. 
Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you all right? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why is that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I understand old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness, when did this plague start? The day after the raid, the horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merkel yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Well, that's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Melikar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. Where does Melikar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables...